Moses. <laughs> the long lineal line. Welcome back from that game. That's a game you want to watch and you're like, wow, I'm really playing football. Bayern Munich has done it several times. When we get to that particular bridge, we'll cross it. I'll be giving you some stats of teams they've demolished 7172, 737. So it's nothing new. They have that tenacity and it will continue because of the formidable attack. They have dual market go stay right here with me. Yeah, let's quickly come to the MPFL. Um, we saw games during the weekend. Most games came in on Sunday, and the log is showcasing people who will definitely be, um, <clears throat> excuse me, in the continent. But something great is really happening that Gladys might have. We're going to have a team of the week of crop of players who have shown their dexterity, and they are actually making that team of the week, which I think the handlers of the Super Eagles should look into as a focus. Definitely, they have to, because um, normally at the end of the league, um, the LMC, you know, works in line with um, other members of the committee. They said, look, we have to pick the best players, you know, for the league. The best striker, midfielder, defender, the goalkeeper also. These guys are supposed to make a team, probably a team B or a team C for the national team, because that's how it's supposed to be done. Getting the team of the week, when you see yourself in the team of the week at the end of the, you know, um, particular week for that, for that game, it only tells you there is something these teams are doing mm. that other teams are not doing. At <coughs> yeah. the same time, the players are giving their best. So... Being that, that that team of the week is is is, is good for Remo Stars, you know, having those players in there. Yes, three of them right yeah, in there. Yeah, three of them right in there. Which All is right, very, that, very that, good. that's the list right there on your screen. Uh, you could just imagine some of these players making the Super Eagles. You will see Sheung, Agubi, Ribe, Awoyemi, Abdul Rashid, and Andy Okwe. You also see the Cameroonian goalkeeper that keeps for Aqua United, Jean Efela. You have Sheung. Uh, sorry, I beg your pardon. You have um, Fabian Uwori. Um, Buhari Ibrahim and Awu Yami Abdurazam. Uh, for you, Joel, it's an inspirational um, factor to see you make Team of the Week and also your performing week in, week out. It only tells you you're, you're, working, you're working very hard at the same time. You have a better coach, let me use that word, because um, sometimes you might not even win a game. I get yourself at you know, being a Team of the Week. I haven't played very well. I haven't played very well. That means there are always eyes watching you and you have to give your best. But my problem is, what happens to the players at the end of the at the end of the league? How do you, how do you put these players together? They have to be a team. They have to be a complete first eleven that did very well in the league. And you take this. Where are the players? What happens to these players? We had a certain Ajiboye that was part of the whole you know plan. But at the end of the day, I don't know what's happening to him right now. But anyway, I, I just believe we're progressing by the day. For me, fundamental. I think some of those players we see should make the Super Eagles. Team A, not Team B. Reason, you have players who come to understudy other players. Yeah. Some of the players we've seen in the Super Eagles, there's, they're not as good as what we have in the home front. Mm. Woeful passing, man tacking, mm. ball passing, we've seen them. So if some of our boys are making Team of the Week, like rightly said, constitute them into uh, a team that could easily play the Super Eagles yeah. and let them play out their heart yeah. to get into the team. Okay, having a, a team like from the league then play, play the Super Eagles. Super Eagles. <laughs> Which is not bad anyway. But I'll tell you what, as a professional player... That's an idea. Yeah, it's an idea. But as a professional player, you won't want to expose yourself playing against local players. Let me use that word. Because we see these things happen. I, I remember when... Okay, they'll tackle you. set in Inter Milan. They'll tackle you. They might get you injured and all that. Yeah, being a professional player, it, it doesn't mean you're going to like you know start going for all the tackles and all that. Because when you get injured, you, you sit at the bench. So, mm. But I believe... The, this is time when we, we, we had, I mean, a, a team from, I mean, a team C or a team B, you know, that come on and say, look, this is our second ego. We don't have to wait for these guys that come from abroad. Mm. They might disappoint at the end of the day, so, Very true. which is not bad. Absolutely, I agree with you, Joel. Well, team of the week right from there, MPFL, kudos. You did something quite right. And a lot of people are still wishing to see some of these games on our TV screen so that it could give us joy to watch some of these boys and give our own personal assessment, not for the coaches, but to say, yes, we can see our players doing it fantastically well right in the home front. You saw what happened during the AFCON. Everybody concentrated on the AFCON. The EPL, the La Liga, the Serie A, the Bundesliga were running concurrently with the AFCON, but everybody felt, I need to watch 
teams playing the AFCON, and that was monumental. And the MPFL can also do that. You want to tell me three assists playing Rangers, and I'll go and watch one EPL game? <laughs> Come off it. <laughs> no, yeah. All right. Sad news, sad news, sad news. You will say Christopher Justice played for the Super Eagles in 2002. So, yeah. And a uh, fine midfield, um, defensive midfielder. But just today, he slumped and died. Very unfortunate. Now, the question is, before we come to Christopher Joss, looking at him, why don't we celebrate our heroes when they are alive? It's really funny. But I love that Pato Rankin song, yeah, celebrate, celebrate Me, me yeah. When now, Are They Alive. <laughs> no, not bad, but the problem, is, the problem is when these guys, you know, sometimes a lot of them retire and they go back to Europe and, you know, spend their life there. And sometimes when they come back, nobody knows when they, when they come back to the country. Some just go into hiding. Now, we had a presentation, if not for the fact some people saw King Slobioko, you know, doing his job at the car park, we'll never, we'll never find out if King Slobioko is back in the country. Because we have poor database. That's what we're talking about. So that's where it starts from. There needs to be a database. And, um... Sorry, I need to come in okay. here. If we're really sincere with our football development, every single player that has played for the Super Eagles mm -hmm. should have an assignment with the NFF. Okay. Is it... The state you come from, you're yeah. seconded to certain yeah. teams. You see, ideas are meant to flow. Definitely. Just that those who run our football don't want ideas. What they want to do is share money. We're going to talk about money right now. Mm -hmm. It's coming up. Those players who have played, where did you come from? Enugu State. The FA, give them a job. Let them become strategists. Yeah. Let them become yeah. uh, uh, um, um, scouts. Yeah. For most of the states that take their team to the National Sports Festival, it is at the 11th hour they go to pick teams. Yeah. You get these guys into the sports federation or the school sports federation and engage them and use their uh, 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 um, talents. We're not doing that. So when anybody comes back from abroad, yeah. you just quickly go to high somewhere and that is your state. And sometimes the problem with these, these athletes too, because um, at the end of the day, a lot of them, there's a lot of factors that contribute to this whole thing. A lot of them, they didn't even go to school. Some could never manage what they had when they were playing professional football or professional athletes. The money you made then, you couldn't manage it because you refused. I don't know if you refused to go to school or you didn't want to give yourself an element of education because, because that's why FIFA said, look, on that 17 level, when a player gets a club abroad, you have to go to school and the club sponsors you to school. So illiteracy has taken the greater part of our, of our players. Very true. When they come back, they don't even know what to do, you know, where to, where to keep themselves. So, it's not just a problem of the federation. The players, they, they take some, some part of the faults. Very unfortunate. Christopher Justice is no more. And what do you think the federation should do for players who actually give their heart, like Christopher Justice, uh, that is no longer alive? Um, it's not just the federation, because he, he, he played in various clubs in Nigeria. He was in Katsana United, um, Bender Insurance. Now, he came back to Nigeria in 2012 to play for Nassau United. Uh, Fair enough, he has even stopped playing, but, you know, training once in a while. But now the problem is, a lot of our players don't know when to give in. Mm. Sometimes, some hide medical issues. They don't want to bring this whole thing now because now when you have these issues, you have to stop playing because you, have, you push yourself to the extra mile. You are, you are pushing. This is your body, for God's sake. And we're talking about the heart here. Look at Aguero, for God's sake. Aguero knew what happened to him. I had to stop playing. Yeah. So a lot of our players, they have medical conditions. They keep playing. So but it's, re it's really sad we, we, we lost a player like that. And the federation should... Do something for his family, though. Well, we just hope that the Federation will take this cause very serious and do something for the family, like Joel has rightly said. Christopher Justice did give his very best to the nation and play for the Super Eagles with everything within him. A fantastic defensive midfielder, if you ask me. Um, so many other players are out there in his own condition. Because we don't have insurance policies, because we don't have health policies that protect our players, we'll find them falling into this scenario. Christopher Justice has just gotten into, and so many others. I am trying as much as possible to bring Mondo Diaka to the studio right in here to come and talk about retirement after football. When you stop playing football, how, how is life? I'm really trying to bring him in here, and he's going to come up on our Sports Center show that debuted on Saturday. So get ready. We don't know when he's going to come up, but very soon we'll, we'll be bringing him. Yes, let's talk some money. LMC is in trouble. <laughs> Big money. Um, they've been asked to cover 240 million naira back to the coffers of the association. What exactly happened to those money? How did those money come, in, came about? You, you know, you know, you know the, the, there was an issue uh, Shea Udiko raised up, and they asked him, uh, why is LMC where it is? Mm -hmm. Naively, he said, sponsors have pulled back because somebody has been an antagonist 
of the LMC, Harris and Jala. How, how, like how do you equate that? How do you say it's all like that? How do you equate that? Harris and Jala. If you've done well, wouldn't the sponsors continue exactly. yeah. relating with you? Mm -hmm. We had a, we had a certain IE2 that was you know sponsoring the Nigerian League. At some point, IE2 they pulled, pulled out. They pulled out. And some of us knew that it was going to pull out. out. It's quite sad when you have sponsors pulling out, you know, when it comes to sponsors. At some point, we're seeing Nigerian League on no, 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 Joel, 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 it's not sad. When, when you're not transparent. Exactly. And when you're not sincere, nobody wants to do business with you. I talk about revolution in our sport, not just one particular sport, you know, because these things happen by the day. And I talk about zero tolerance when it comes to the issue of misappropriation of funds. Because now, for God's sake, why would the sponsor pull out? Because probably they find out there are some discrepancies here and there. Urusu, Urusu. Urusu, Urusu. <laughs> You know, th this thing happens every day, but this is the time these people have to be brought to book and answer questions. All right. You can't just throw away with such an amount of money. After losing at the Supreme Court in a major landmark judgment by the highest court in the land, the League Management Company Limited, LMC, is now condemned to cough out the total sum of 241 million naira to the coffers of the LMC. Now, is this not enough to jail somebody? It's enough to shut down that particular... Um, agency or what's it called the league management committee now something came to my mind i said look we need to have a sports commission there has to be a check, there has to be proper checks and balance between the sport commission the stakeholders and the club owners if we have a sport commission a strict sport commission you have to monitor how fun comes in and that's not how fun goes out because normally when you have a, when, you, when you have sponsors coming into the, to the league some part some amount of money are supposed to be paid to this club broadcasting rights and all that mm. These things, we don't see them. Nobody knows what's happening on paper. So transparency is always a problem when it comes to administration in the country. Mm. So it's quite sad the LMC is you know, going by this, um, by this way. It's, it's really sad for our football right now. Well, we've got to see um, if sponsors will definitely make a U-turn to put in their money or their effort to televise our games on TV. LMC took over 240 million. Naira is a big deal. Where would that money come out from? Nobody can tell. We're going on this quick break. When we come back, we'll talk some athletics and basketball. We'll be right back.